Welcome to Sunshine Art and Drawing. This is the fourth one of the Christmas pop-outs for this week. So I am doing the Santa reindeer, the Santa's sleigh and Santa himself. So let's get started with the reindeer. All three of these are a little bit tricky so definitely take your time and study those little instructions. But first things first, you need to take the leg part and make a V with it so that it has the stand for the reindeer. Now it looks like you're supposed to push it in this way but I found it's easier if you hook it under the legs first. So let's just bring that a bit closer into frame so you can see what I'm doing. So if you hook that under the legs first and then push in the two sides just like that then you can get him to stand pretty good but the other part that you need to do is to make sure that you push these two sides up they kind of look like they're in properly, but you have to push them up so that they slide all the way down like that. And that'll make him stand up properly. And then the legs, you need to tuck them back. So that looks like it's done, but it's definitely not done. Let's pop the head on and I'll show you how to get the last little bit done. So we'll pop his little head onto the front so that's looking all cute. Now to me that looked a little bit wrong, even though it seemed like it was complete. I just wanted to study those instructions because I feel like one little bit's not quite right. And it's the legs that just need to be tucked in at the back here. So if you tuck those two legs in, that just makes him a lot more sturdy. And that way he can stand up nice and well. And he gets a few accessories. So he gets this cute little teddy bear, which you can detach the arms on either side. And now on the picture it shows like it, that it can stand up, but I think what you're supposed to do is kind of just hook it on him so he's holding it. And then I tried to put one carrot in his mouth, but it seems like it falls out. So if you get both the carrots and stack them together and then put them into his mouth, they stay. So that is the cute little Santa's reindeer done. I think this one's supposed to be Rudolph. So let's pop him to the side and we'll get started on the next one. So let's do Santa. Again, these ones are pretty tricky. This one was so difficult, it snapped my <laughs> it snapped my brush, which I thought was a bit funny because it's a wooden brush. So I must have been pressing hard. So let's get started with the Santa's body. You need to just make sure that you pop out any of the little slits and things like that and get all of the paper scraps out. Now this one puts together very similarly to most of the other sort of human characters, except for you need to bend his little beard I guess it is down and then pop the head part on top but when I tried to put mine together no matter what I did it just wouldn't fit together properly so I tried like making sure I'd popped out all of the paper and all of that and then I gave it another go of putting it together this one was just really tricky so I gave it another go and I slid it all together and it still doesn't seem to slide together properly. It's like the base and the top just don't slide all the way together and because of that I can't put his head on because it doesn't fit in the space. So after a few tries of trying it behind and in front of the beard and seeing if that looked right, it just didn't quite sit properly. It's like wobbly and doesn't quite sit together. So I had a bit of a look at it and I was thinking maybe it's because it's not cut properly. So as you can do with all of these, if you find that they're not cut properly, you can use a pair of scissors and just cut them a little bit more. I tried even backwards and it still wouldn't sit right. And you can't bend the beard the other way. So there must be something that's not letting it fit together. So I tried one more time to push it all the way down and I still couldn't do it. So after frustratingly trying to get it to work how it was supposed to, I grabbed a pair of scissors and I just made this little slit in the body a little bit deeper. Maybe only one or two millimetres, just a tiny, tiny bit deeper. Enough to get the legs to line up with the bottom of the body. So you just push that little bit that you've cut out, out to the side and then you can use some scissors just to trim it off. And let's try and put him together now. Now he slides all the way down to the bottom and that sits properly and then when you put the little face on you can kind of clip them together they sort of slide and then sit on top so now he sits properly he's a little bit of a tricky one but we finally got there in the end 
and there's Mr. Santa. He's all done and he's sitting properly. And there's his nice little bell so he can ring in the cheery season. And here's his bag of toys. Again, this one wasn't cut very well, but I managed to make it work. And that is his Santa himself all done. So next thing that we're going to be doing is the sleigh. So take the sleigh and be really careful to pop out all of the little um, little tabs and slits inside the sides. Those ones can be a bit tricky, so I spent a bit of time trying to get it to fit together. And the reason it wouldn't fit together is because the little tabs weren't cut properly. So I'm going to try and put it together as it says in the instructions, and it just would not go together. No matter how hard I tried and how hard I pushed, the tabs just would not go through those little holes. So I realised it's because they weren't cut properly, so I just spent some time poking at them to make them a bit more open so that we could slide in the little tabs. And that's why you can see me sort of poking at it a little bit and then testing it to see if it'll go through. Because I didn't want to rip it or make the tabs too large, otherwise it'll be loose and it won't stay together. So I had to do the same thing for most of the other little slits, is to push them. It's just a little bit frustrating, I can imagine. Um, a kid getting pretty frustrated with this and might end up breaking it or bending it because they just weren't cut properly. So it's not the child's fault, it's the manufacturer's fault that it's not really working very well. But here we go, that's one side all on. And let's try and do the other side and hope for the best. Again, this one just did not want to go together, but I think I managed to push it all together in the end. And then grab both sides and push them together like this. That'll just make sure it's all put together really, really well. And then you can grab your little star and you can pop him on the top of the back part of the sleigh. It seems to be where it goes. And that there is complete. And then we just need to do the little present. Just getting out all the tabs. This one seemed to have tabs that did not want to come out. But once the present is all together, it's just a typical one of those ones where you just slide the two pieces together and then it makes like a little sort of cross shape and that helps the present stand up. And now let's have a close up look. So I'll just bring the camera into focus for you. And first of all, we have Rudolph, the red nosed reindeer little carrots and his little teddy bear friend and that's quite cute I kind of like how it goes together it's really sturdy so it stays together it doesn't come apart and he looks super cute eating his little carrots let's have a look at Santa and his bell as you can see he finally did go together quite well and his little hat sort of bends backwards so it looks like he's moving in the breeze and there's his little sack of toys which is really super sweet and last but not least is the Santa sleigh and his little present. There goes the present. But yeah, it went together okay. It's kind of a bit bent because I had to rough it, like be rough with it to get it to stay together. But it's got lots of details and quite cute. And there's the little present. It's just a typical present. It's a little bit bent because I had to be a bit rough with it to get it to go together. And that's all of them. Now I have the tree, so I've put them all on the tree, as you can see here. And the last set went right down the bottom, pride of place, so that they could all be nicely set together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a sunshiny day.